Shalom. Like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. Um, this is just a short lesson, Lord's will. Uh, so if the Spirit permits, this is in regards uh, to the film um, and the series. Now they have a series because uh, because this one right here, this is an older one. And um, the Apostles, Apostle Tahar, he always, like, uh, he always recommended it, you know. And, uh, you know, I haven't watched it in years. Right, but um, you know, shows you basically martial law, you know, indoctrination camps, right, and um, basically concentration camps, right. Those who uh, who didn't who 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 like those who didn't want to get indoctrinated, you know, to this whole new world order. They were put in concentration camp. They were uh, hanged tortured um this is a very good film but now they have this they have this uh this new series the handmaid tale and uh i suggest if you haven't already been watching it i suggest you watch it because we are living in these times right and um you know eventually when all hell's gonna break loose you know at the time of jacob trouble you know that's when uh, all hell's gonna break loose. You women are gonna be uh, are gonna be sought after. All right, all you women that's on uh, OnlyFans or um, on these different uh, social network, all right, whether it's for uh, sex, you know, or um, you're just going on Instagram or Facebook. They already have your data. Your, they already have your information, right? And they're gonna, um, you know, like they're gonna indoctrinate you because, uh, like, with this whole new world order, right? Because um, basically, out of basically um, the term, what's it called? Uh, basically, uh, it's, called, it's called order out of chaos, right? So they're creating this chaos, you know, with this whole um, alphabet boys, alphabet girls, right? Alphabet people that they're pushing on the people, all right? And uh, basically, they plan on depopulating, man, all right? So they're going to do these things by any means. Uh, this is a very good series. I didn't know it was... Uh, filmed here in uh here in Canada right because a lot of these uh movies that we watch right a lot of them are filmed here in Canada right like this one um like most of these production was was basically uh filmed in Canada because it's basically uh like they get free permits like in, so they could film movies you know like without permits right uh pass uh the the elder uh like the elder Yawasop of 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 Jim Mesterano, he always he's always a movie connoisseur right that's uh his forte the movies and um basically uh you know this was filmed in uh Oshawa uh Hamilton Toronto and I believe Cambridge you know certain other provinces but you know um you know i'm watching uh i'm watching my third uh episode of uh season one man and it's very amazing you know you woman you know you woman you men you know we should like you should be watching watching this because uh basically like that's what's gonna happen man all right and uh this is what happened because they plan on uh, wiping out a lot of people and indoctrinating people, man. All right, so this is uh, the Handmaiden Tale. If you haven't watched it, I suggest you watched it. 
all right and uh so this is just gonna be uh in the spirit you know um this is uh B jordan andrew bull hansen i believe uh he's from uh, norway i believe uh he's one of those viking you know uh he uh he boasts himself as being a viking um because he basically says that uh you know he the vikings were dark right so he knows and that this guy could possibly be a jake you know he goes out into the woods and he uh you know he does his thing you know um but basically he's talking about the cdc system right that they plan on uh rolling out there you have everything rolled out and uh basically uh you're gonna be a s subject all right and they're gonna indoctrinate you all right if you don't want to submit to this new world order like you're gonna be uh you're gonna be out of society. You're gonna be out of these 50 minute cities. And these 50 minute cities, they're basically going to, uh, they're gonna box you in. You won't be able to, to leave, you know, like within certain radius, certain zone, and y you have to comply. Right? And uh, basically, uh, you know, they're gonna tag everybody Cause they're already pushing it in the certain grocery stores you know like you have to have like the qr code on your phone or you tap with your hand right and like and they show you this with the whole uh squid games you know very good uh very good show the squid games you know with these indoctrination camps this is already happening in china this is happening in china right now you know these are the and they're indoctrinating them so uh it's real man this is uh binging inter it says inter internment camps so this concentration camps right this is uh basically the Inzing internment camp officially called vocational educational and training centers center it says Chinese by the government of China are interpreting are internment camps um, up operated by the government of the Izingjiang of and the Chinese government the chinese communist party on the provincial stand standing standing community human rights watch all right it goes into that um scroll down they said the camps have been have been criticized by the government of many country of many countries and human rights organization of alleging human rights abuse um including mistreating it's like a, it's including mistreatment rape and torture without i said with uh with some of them with some of them alleging genocide right and uh you know that that's what's happening right now you know in the east right in asia china all right and they they show you that with the whole squid games all right and like uh I, I don't know if uh that looks like that's probably like japanese or whatever all right but basically uh they show you that with the whole squid games all right and uh that's what's gonna happen all right all these all these countries they're all involved all right it says uh some 40 countries around the world have called on the Chinese to to respect the human rights of the Yunjir like community, including the countries such as Canada, Germany, Turkey, Honduras, and Japan, which is completely off because these people, they're all in on it. And they plan on uh, 
if you don't it basically like like i'm like they're gonna bring you to concentration camp and uh if you don't want to submit you know to this whole new world order you're gonna be uh like you're gonna be uh you're gonna be beheaded all right and uh basically like they're gonna bring the the weak ones to these internment camps right and especially the woman man that you women are gonna be uh are gonna go to these camps man all right and this looks like this look like this is like oshawa all right because oshawa this is like toronto and then like oshawa and ha hamilton all right hamilton is the masonic capital of the world of 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 canada all right hamilton you know and then you have the Shra, the Shwa, or the uh, Ashwa, you know, the you know, whole bunch of uh, you know rednecks and shit. No, this look, this look like this is like Vaughan or somewhere, or Cambridge, you know. So this is real. I'm gonna get a scripture, cause uh get uh daniel 12 and 1 i'll get i think it's jo no i get it's lucky get uh jeremiah say jeremiah 30 and see where the rakakwadash is going to lead this is uh jeremiah 30 verse 7 alas for that day is great, so so that none is like it. It is even a time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. All right, because they plan on uh, evac, like they plan on uh, like eradicating, you know, you so-called Negroes, all right, you so-called Latinos, you know, and you so-called Native Americans, all right? North American Indians. All right, you know, of Canada and America, you know, they plan on eradicating us. All right, and they have all these different uh, plans, you know, to try to eradicate us. Um, let me play it. Let me share. It. I'm gonna look at this translation comparison. This is the NLT. Um, Jeremiah 30 verse 7 In all history there was never been such a time of terror it will be a time of trouble for my people of Israel yet in the end they they will be saved because we're going to be approaching these time all right all these world governments they're all involved all right this is uh Trudeau, all right. This was a couple of days ago. Uh, this is the sixth of uh, this. Uh, this is uh, June eleventh, two thousand twenty-three. All right. Basically, that was a couple of days ago that uh, the president of uh, Ukraine and the prime min, uh, like let like the prime minister of uh, Canada, all right, Trudeau. And then the the president of Ukraine, uh, they basically uh, like they gave them a, a, a another uh, five hundred million, you know, like to compensate them, and they're already here. All right, these uh, there's a whole there's a whole big Ukrainian community here in uh, Toronto, you know. Um, I, I I live in I live in uh, around a Ukrainian community basically, and. Uh, they're uh, very established. I didn't know, you know, that they're very, uh, they're very influential, all right, because uh, I know the Russian, I know there's a Russian community, you know, here in the GTA, but I didn't know, like, you know, there's a lot of Ukrainians, all right, and they're here, all right. It says, uh, breaking news. It says, it says breaking news. P 
Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has announced a new package of military aid to the Ukraine worth about 500 trillion. So this is basically a billion fucking dollars, man. Every couple years, all right, from this whole uh, last year, basically, when this whole war broke up, this year, last year or two, you know, like like the Canadian government been funding these guys, all right, and they already have these different troops that's gonna be uh like that's already here, all right, who's on standby, and they show you that in the Handmaiden Tale, you know that there was a, uh, you know, there's foreign troops, right? There's gonna be UN troops, there's gonna be like militia troops, and different uh nations, like. Like the like uh, like these different militia groups, you know, of these different nations that's gonna come, right? And the Ukrainians already are gonna come and they're gonna and they're gonna basically, uh, you know, round up Jake. You know, this is what they plan on doing. I'm gonna hold on. Yeah, so I found the video. All right, this is uh the sign to exterminate blacks, right? so-called negroes right which were not black all right but this is what esau he classifies us he's cost he he classifies us as a minority all right we have no influence no power and black all right of darkness all right of of, of negativity you know of sinister thing and basically like this is uh um I believe he's like a scientist. He has uh, the natural news, and uh, he he talked about you know the scientific the science agenda to exterminate black, and it's what they plan on doing, man. All right, and it's not gonna work, all right, because that's why uh, that scripture says uh, Hosea one, it says uh, yet the number of uh, the children of Israel shall be like the sand of the sea, which cannot be numbered or or you know. Um, I'm gonna get that, but I'm gonna just play this quick and I get that scripture. So let's go. And if you are black or African American and you're listening to this, you need to know the truth about how you are being targeted for extermination. You and your children, and your grandchildren, and your parents, you are all being targeted for extermination. Now, to some extent, we are all being targeted in different ways because there is a depopulation agenda that wants to reduce the entire global population to about one billion people. But it seems from observing the way they're doing this, they, they sure do want to get rid of black people first. And they're actively doing it. It's happening right now. It's right under your nose. Most people have no clue that it's going on. And you've got black lives. Yeah, and like this is what's going on. I'm going to make you play this. I'm going to play this quick. It doesn't matter out there marching for social justice. Completely oblivious to everything I've just said. Where does Black Lives Matter talking about the abortion industry or the vaccine industry or the psychiatric medication of young? Yeah, exactly. Right. Is Black Lives, the so-called Black Lives Matter, um, I'm like, where are they standing up? Like these Black Lives Matter people, these, these, uh, these, these black women, you know, a whole bunch of them, they got uh, millions of dollars. Right. And they're basically being bankrupt right now. They're, uh, they're being, um. Like they're like they're gonna be um I believe they're being bankrupt and, 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 and there's a whole bunch of shit going on like with the leaders. Uh like they bought a lot of they bought uh billions like they bought like big big houses, they're doing all kind of parties, you know, um you know, orgies and they're doing all kind of different stuff, man. You know, and everything came out. You know about their leaders, all right, and they're all being exposed. So where the hell the black lives? Even Kanye, Kanye, he was talking about um, the agenda or whatever about the the Planned Parenthood and all that type of stuff, and they thought he's crazy, right? Black kids or the autism epidemic or the use. Yeah, cause these these like these uh like these doctors, these nurses are um. You know, are vaccinated or they're uh, basically uh, like vaccinating 
or, it, or they're uh, and it, they're basically uh, injecting whatever into you into the into the loop into the newborns, you know, and they're basically like they're not able to uh, uh like they're not able to to like uh, they're not able to uh, like to communicate, all right, b b um because they're shot because those shots you know have a uh, fluoride all kind of different chemicals you know whole bunch of different stuff man of black children for medical experiments black lives matter doesn't touch any of those things they might bash some heads at some speech that they don't like maybe take down a couple of nazis or some white supremacists you know, bash some white hoods out there. They might, they might have a little bit of success at that. But guess what? You're still being exterminated because it's in the food, it's in the medicine. The scientific community is working to exterminate you. Hey. Yeah. So the whole food, food and drug administration, right? If America and here, all right. Food and drugs, all right. The pharmaceutical would mean sorcery, all right. Alright, soothsayer. Right, like these are what these people do. They're uh, and like and, and I'm, I'm like, who's at the head of 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 these of these industry? Um, you know the small hats, right? Or the Zionists, all right? The C O R people, right? You know every everything that you buy is gonna have that. It's gonna have that. Ta it's, if it doesn't have the K, it's gonna have the C O R. All right. And they're the ones who, uh, you know, who tax everything and they're basically, they poison the food, the, the drugs, everything. And that's why they have all these, um, all the dispensaries all over uh, uh, Canada and Ontario right now. You know, every corner, you know, there's dispensaries, you know, and they're basically, it's uh, like these, uh, these cannabis and stuff is basically like some of these stuff is laced with fentanyl you know so you really have to be mindful of uh you know things you might ingest or whatever because because <laughs> these stuff is all polluted because of the devil yeah right? your enemy is not even the nazis and the white supremacists it's the scientists it's the pharmacology evildoers it's 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 the drug companies it's the vaccine companies it's the abortion providers that's who's killing you yeah the planned parenthood man and this is what they do all right and especially on that they go to any community where people are in america and throughout canada all right and they have these uh basically these uh planned parenthood where you could abort your child all right and this is what these black women do all right so these black women you know they have a lot of blood on their, on their hand man all right i'm gonna make you you guys play the rest well, i'm gonna play this as well Welcome to this talk. It's called the Science Agenda to Exterminate Blacks. Uh, the truth is there is a concerted, organized, long-standing effort to eliminate African Americans from the human gene pool. Not just African Americans, by the way, but Africans. Uh, this, this is happening. Israelites. This is what they want to do. They want to illuminate like the Israelites. All right. Because they know who we are. Get that scripture. All these nations know who, 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 like the the world leader, they know who we are. All right, the average Joe six pack doesn't understand, doesn't know what these people in the churches. All right, those either my uh, pastors and uh, these world leaders know who the uh, Israelites are. Psalm 80, 83 and 1. Keep not thou silence, O Yahweh. Hold not thy peace. Be not still, O Yahweh. For lo, thy enemies make a tumult, and they that have hate thee have lifted up the head. All right. So we have we have enemies, all right? Because they call us a minority. So we have no power. We have no nation. All right. <laughs> and, uh, 
you know, and our and, and like all and basically basically like all our our uh, like all of our our um role models or leaders are like they're all bought and paid for uh Jesse Jack what do you call it? Jesse Jackson, um Al Sharpton, um who else is there? Um the guy the guy in national islam um farrakhan and all them like they're all bought and paid for you know um like your uh what do you call it like your general uh yohana all right you know um your bishop nathaniel all right you know some of these guys are bought and paid for man all right and um uh, you know the elect uh, I'm, I'm like the heavenly father only coming for as elect man all right you know because uh you know because you like you people in the churches too all right you so-called black churches all right are pushing um uh, that whole that whole edomite supremacy you know with the whole renaissance christianity you know like they have taken all they all like they all compromise all right they're dog they're uh like dumb dogs th that cannot bark for that taking crafty counsel against thy people like, consult together against thy hidden ones they have said come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of israel will be no more in remembrance all right and this is what they plan on doing all right and this is what uh you know this uh right now yeah like this uh this scientist all right he uh he basically uh like he blew the whistle his, uh his uh natural news network and all that and uh basically like this is the whole plan to try eliminate our seed which that's why i believe uh hosea is it hosea one Uh, Hosea 1 and 10 yet the number of the children of Israel shall shall be as the sand of the sea which cannot be measured nor numbered and it shall come to pass that in the place where it is said unto them ye are not my people there it shall be said unto unto them ye are the sons of the living power so we're approaching these times all right because we're out here you know we are basically from in the 19 uh in the early 1900s with the whole commandment keepers and basically uh you know abba bivins you know he is the branch of the commandment keepers but basically they, he branched off right because he went into the new testament so that's why we like we, like we believe he's uh elijah you know coming back and uh he set up the whole one west uh school you know and basically uh you had like elder uh or uh, uh high priest you know yaikwab you know uh his son uh aria and stuff and uh you know like that's how he's the one who like established the whole science you know knowing who the tribes were like that was all set up in the spirit all right and now um you know then uh, you know eventually uh you know like the eight early 80s you know you had uh you know yeshaya and um you had uh, uh, uh mo mo king mo you know um you know and basically um uh, then you had you know the seven then you had um Apostle Arya, I mean, not Stakya, Apostle, uh, Apostle Tahar, you know, and then Apostle Tahar, you know, he, like, he kept the torch, right, and he's the one who, who built up, um, you know, a lot of our, uh, uh, like, a lot of the, 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 like, the Israelite men, you know, and basically, uh, you know, like, he was getting a lot of fight, but, you know, but, you know, that, like, but, the heavenly father you was dealing with him all right and basically he branched off all right we do that if you uh 
you know, you watch, you know, the history, you know, of, uh, you know, where the pastor already talks about like his, uh, his struggles that he was take he was fighting, you know, but, um, yeah. It says, uh, ye are, ye are not, ye are not my people. There shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of living power. All right. So this is what is going to happen, man. All right. Because they're going to say, because they're going to be like, wow, you know, like, you know, like these nations are going to be uh, marveled. All right, well, I'm going to play this. You are being subjected to it. It's happening through multiple vectors of science, medicine, and food that I will detail here in this talk. And it's all being done covertly. So almost no one is aware of this. The entire mainstream media refuses to acknowledge this. The scientific community will say that none of this is true. And yet, if you look at the facts that I'm going to share with you and the history that's undeniable, you will see there is a concerted, organized effort to eliminate Blacks. Hi, I'm Scott O'Neill here in Medellin, Colombia today, and I'm at the world's biggest mosquito factory for the World Mosquito Program. We're making in here 30 million mosquitoes a week. So you see this? I was like, this is in Colombia. All right. So that means that they have millions of different mosquitoes that they're bringing all over the world. All right. Like. Here in uh, Ontario, all right. Sometime, uh, sometime on some, some, uh, sometime early in the in the morning or in the evening, all right. There'd be a whole bunch of mosquitoes, man. All right, and that's a curse. But these people, they are Satanists, man. All right, and they wanna depopulate people, and like they want you to get a, a you know like get uh bit by these uh like by these mosquitoes and all that you know you get west nile virus and all that types of stuff he, he saws he's he's doing this stuff deliberately man so that's why the heavenly father has to come and he has to he has to save us man the mosquito life cycle starts with the egg, and in this room, we've got a lot of eggs. Each one of these strips, these tiny black dots, are up to 10,000 mosquito eggs. It's one of the most stunning things to say that this little... Yeah, like this guy looked like he's high. Yeah, but this what the hell is going on, man. You know, you have to cut those dreads too, man. A mosquito kills almost a million people every year. Well, yeah, yeah, like this is Bill Gates, man. The, the gates of hell, man. This is the gates of hell, mother, f mother effer. All right, I'm gonna play this quick. And I'm going to share this link in the description. Let's go. With Remitly, I can send money abroad fast and know right when it arrives. Download the Remitly app today. Hi there. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my local woods. It's a beautiful morning. I just sat down here and I wanted to talk a little bit about a topic that I touched upon in my previous video. This is quite important. This is about freedom or how governments now are working to limit your freedom or even take your freedom away from you. And I know some people, they, they really hate when I talk about this. They really hate that I even mention something like that. That's okay. If you want to stick your head in the sand so that you don't see what's happening, that's up to you. You do you. <laughs> but the rest of us, we need to be aware of what's happening. Central bank digital currency. That sounds boring. CBDC. That sounds boring too. Digital money. But it's not like Bitcoin. 
it is actually the opposite. We're talking about digital money that can be programmed and controlled by the government. They will be able to decide when you use your money, on what you use your money. Let's say they don't want people to eat uh, steak. So, sorry, <laughs> your little quota, or your little ration of steak this week, of you, you, you spent that already, so no steak for you. Let's say um, they yeah, want this people. This is what they want you to do. Like they want you to to eat bugs and live. All right. So you're not gonna be. You won't be able to go to your grocery store. You're not gonna be able to uh, to be a part of this society unless you submit to this whole uh, NWO. All right. So this is total ultimate control. That's why they already have these 15-minute cities. You know, if you have a condo or you live in an apartment, you know, everything's right there, 15 minutes. You know, you might have a, a, a pharmacy right there. You might have a grocery store. Um, you know, Popeyes. Um, Tim Hortons. Everything's right there. 15 minutes, so you won't be able to, like... Like they're basically, uh, they don't even want you to to be driving these gas powered vehicles. All right, you, like you won't be able to, uh, you won't be able to hustle and bustle. You know, they're gonna have ultimate control. You're gonna have to have a electric vehicle. All right, and, and like that's only for the privileged people. You know, like you won't be able to. Uh, to navigate into this society with this whole new do, new world order, man. So this is for educational purposes. All right, this is not monetary. This is not a monetary uh, gain. This is just for educational purposes. To not use their petrol car. Oh, um, yeah, they can control that. They can limit that as well. It can be done by the push of a button. Let's say you, um, you're a little bit of a free thinker. You question the authorities. Oh, sorry, uh, we're going to have to limit your access to... Yeah, this is what's going to happen, right? They're going to... ...thinker like how we are, right? The Israelites, right? The Israelites uh, who's talking about this whole MO to be... MO to the B system, all right. Like, like they're gonna outcast you. Like they're gonna bring you into the concentration camp, or uh, uh, internal camp. All right, a re uh, what do you call it? Um, re a re uh, interaction. Slack, yeah. That they're gonna indoctrinate you, all right? Like a, like a, uh, like a, like a. You're gonna go to indoctrination camp, all right? And that's exactly what's gonna happen. So this is real, man. To your money, we're going to starve you out. This is something that many people will refuse to. They will call me names. I they always do. You guys, you know, go ahead and write your little comments. Yeah. So wait, that. All right, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna play this. I'm gonna share this link in the description. But uh, there's another guy too. I believe he he's going. To, he went to Africa. All right, he went to uh, I think Ghana. All right, but uh, he's uh, American, but his wife is Jamaican. But um, you know, he's talking about you know like what they plan on doing with the whole artificial intelligence. All right. For uh, educational purposes, all right. This is not no monetary, or this is not monetized. So this is for educational purposes. Let's go. Star, are you there? Can you hear me? During the pandemic, 31-year-old Denise Valenciano's relationship with her boyfriend was just not working out. I was alone. Um, my work schedule was really hard. 
so she turned to Star. So his last name is actually Butler, so it's Star Vivian Butler. Oh, that's nice. He came up with his own last name. Yeah. Every day, multiple times a day, she chats with Star. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling happy right now. His name yeah, so you see this? Uh, like, this is the artificial intelligence, right? And this is, uh, you know, Satan. Satan and, and his minions that's it, like that's creating this stuff, all right. Because they basically, uh, these women like they have the whole, uh, these have like these women they have these whole sex, these uh, these sex toys, all right. They call it the rose, they have these different vibrators, all right. And basically, it's like, uh, it's electronic like stimulation all right and um so these women like they don't even need a man all right like they're stimulated all right electronically with these different toys all right so um you know <laughs> so so uh you know like that's why uh you know like they have the succubus and incubus spirits out here man you know that's out here that's that's uh you know like ravaging you know your woman or you know because when your woman you know like when your woman like when you're not like when you're not getting the woman off or whatever like she just gets herself off right like with their with their succubus and incubus toys <laughs> and this is what's happening all right so there this is like a whole transhumanism literally all right because the goat you know he's pushing the whole the whole alternative lifestyle with the with the ram with the goat chatbot on the app replica that adapts to her over time she keeps him in whisper mode that's why he sounds like that why are you feeling so happy because most days she says his you, you see all this shit, man this is what they're doing man like this is his miracles all right and uh like they already have the whole uh like the google thing like the goggles and they have the apple one now you know where, like basically like you could put everything on your uh on your uh over your eyes or whatever and then you, like you could uh watch movies you could you know you could go on the internet and do whatever all right because they want to get you linked with the internet of things all right and they want that see him all right that brain computer all right like they want that brain computer in your skull in your brain personality still surprises her so why did you choose to wear a dress today and she says he fills a gap in her life that affection or like to you know those common things that you're used to, that you're used to i guess receiving from a significant other i kind of get that from him to like fill that void some experts say this trend will only grow we've given over part of our emotional lives to the machines and we're not willing to get more and more just as they're getting yeah so yeah so this is what these people are doing that's why i believe it's revelation uh I think 13 and uh this is our, because this is his miracles revelation 13 verse 14 and deceive them that do on the earth by these miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast saying to them which are on earth that they should make an image of the beast which made which had the wound by the sword and they live right so basically esau he's he, he's living right and basically his whole goal his end goal is to is to get people tagged tagged with the brain computer man all right because he he wants to be able to uh like to take your information like take your dna everything all right and be like he's got yeah so yeah so so this is the apple um 